Hello everybody. In this video I'm going to show you how to write a stopwatch that you can use in when you're doing a benchmarking or performance testing or in any other case. And and I also like to elaborate on the practice of writing a small application and some good techniques that you can use with Eclipse to do this. So let's in this case I have uh, created an uh, Eclipse project for my work. This RC, there's a package called com.acl, and there's this method in main. So, this is where I'm going to write my code. So, here I will write uh, the, the operation which I want to test the performance of. Uh, as a simple example, I use a system. How, dot print learn. How, how much time this print learn method takes. Or in this case, I want to test, I want to benchmark the performance of println against print method. So that is a kind of a valid scenario. Let's see how to make this happen. So I, I will test this with the uh, thousand operations. So then it will be quite, uh, I hope it will be quite uh, useful for you as well. So I will here use test. Since I want to take this to int i equal to zero uh, for in this case I take uh, hundred sometimes it is it may require more space in the console so here now I have I'm executing this uh, this uh, operation uh, the system dot out dot print land hundred times. And I know, and I want to know how much time it will will it cost. So here I will up, uh, make my approach to the stopwatch in a top down up, top, top down way. I will define the the way I'm going to use it, and later onwards I will uh, define how things should be carried out. So I want to have a stopwatch. right and then at this point I want to make the stopwatch start and here I want to make the stopwatch stop and then I want to get the content uh, how much time it has been uh, marked in the stopwatch so I will print it so in this case I will uh, in this case what uh, get used is the two string method and I want to reset stopwatch it is not necessary but it is better to do that so now let's use the Eclipse provides uh, facilities of code generation to do this so here it has this uh, operation uh, this uh, mark so where you can ask to, to create the stopwatch so now it is uh, it will create the stopwatch so it will have the sketch of the stopwatch class so now I want these methods to be there so I ask to add this method, again go back to the main, ask to add this method again, the stop method, and there's only one left, and that is the reset. Right. So now we have done with uh, uh, creating all the, the sketch of the stopwatch. And I suppose I, we, I missed the two string. Right. With this, now all the things are completed. Now what lacks is the implementation. And, uh, and you you can see now there are no errors in the I suppose uh, since this is not saved right now there's no errors in the main class so what lacks is the implementation when you if you execute this nothing will happen there will be no output right only the object will object uh, name get printed here now what it is now working without an issue what lacks is the implementation as I said earlier let's uh, try to con uh, continue on the implementation so I'm going to use system current military current uh, milis to get the time so at the point of starting I will get the current milliseconds 
so I have to keep it as a local variable or or as a field so then I use control 2 to generate this and it will give the assistance of uh, us to create as it as a field so I will select this one and I'll say as start time then I will delete this line as well and then again at the stop I will again take the time in the same way control 2 in time right so now the now I have took the start time and end time and in the reset what I can do is uh, I can uh, here also control D in the reset time I can make all them to zero and in the two strip method I can say it took In time minus start time milliseconds. So now the implementation is done. The basic stop which is uh, is created. So when I run this application, it will give me the output as it took three seconds. Let me run it again. Now it's it hasn't took any time 2 milliseconds 10 milliseconds 3 milliseconds 3 milliseconds 0 milliseconds 3 milliseconds 10 milliseconds it's like that but you you can see that here I knew what how the things may carried out so uh, here I haven't make any preconditions but what if someone calls a reset at the beginning or two string at the beginning in, in this point it will create undefined variables because you have to start and end it before uh, be, that be before using them There's, the declaration happens when you call on start and stop so it is better to make the, them initialize at the beginning uh, with zero and what if someone start stop and stopwatch without starting so we can we can have a boolean value to check this boolean is started we can make it false at this point we can say is started true and in this case we can do a kind of check whether is started if it is not started we can throw an exception like illegal state new throw I suppose there should be a yeah illegal state exception we can say uh, we can say that uh, you say that unstarted stop cannot be stopped stop so now there's some preconditions and what if someone start the same uh, stopwatch twice so it will change the start time so we have to check whether this is already started so we can use the same condition so once a stopwatch is started then there's no way to start it again so here uh, then we will say uh, started stopwatch can't be 
start it again because someone if start a stopwatch and then stop uh, without stopping again uh, call on stop and again click on start the new start will be start will be set to the value so this will make an this will create an issues uh, in the use so that is why we have these conditions so when it is uh, I suppose in this case it has to be started in the case of started it will say that it has this precondition saying that it has to be uh, non started one to be started right and in the reset state we have to say we started false so now it has the basic structure and well some uh, preconditions and easy to use uh, capability but uh, I suppose we can do more improvement on, in this stopwatch which I was hoping to carry it out in the next session. And thank you all for watching this video.